Hi, I'm Angela, and this video is about how social media is helping our relationships. In the video I did on how you feel about your body image, I mentioned that a lot of images on social media are fake, and it's forcing people to start connecting to how do they feel about all of this fakeness and artificiality on social media, or how people try to show the best side of themselves and don't actually share that authentic part of themselves. And recently on Tinder, we've seen some great success where people have actually put out a very true, authentic part of themselves. So I'm thinking of a, a guy that was a model and he's the most successful Tinder person, the most liked. But he actually shared a really true and authentic part of himself. And that's what made him attractive. So social media, ironically, is making it more obvious how fake a lot of the images are out there or how fake the appearance of the person is. And it's forcing us to actually find out what's really attractive about a person. And what makes someone attractive is not how they look only. What makes them attractive is how they make you feel. So if someone makes you feel good on social media, you're just going to naturally want to go to their profile if they're more positive, if they don't complain. <laughs> One of the things I've seen a lot is people saying they don't go to someone's page because they're complaining all the time. So if you make people feel good, whether it's on social media or in real life, that's what makes you attractive to people. It's not just physical appearance. It's how you make people feel. So this is a big clue that we're getting through on social media these days that's now becoming a conversation we can have with young people that what is attractive? If someone makes you feel crap, don't be their friend. And we need to also get into this conversation because there's also a lot of negative stuff in social media, even some apps that I would like to see banned, I would like to see governments putting in rules about these apps where they're proliferating and feeding back through automated robots in the software a lot of negative words and feelings that actually have uh, encouraged young people to commit suicide. So that's actually there's some apps out there developed like that that we need to start policing, we need to start developing a global awareness about these apps. So far it's only parents that have been talking about it because they don't want their kids to watch these things. But we need to educate young people about that, that there are apps out there with faceless robots in them, analogues and algorithms that are proliferating negative thoughts that say negative things to you. So once youth and adults as well become aware of this, social media is a, a very good opportunity through its dark side as well to see what actually is attractive about people, what's not attractive what we don't want in our relationships, and how do we build real togetherness. The social media is a platform that's really bringing all of this stuff to light so we can actually start to create consciousness about it. If we leave young people to their own devices, we're kind of also saying that our relationships don't really matter. We're not engaging in how they are relating to technology and to the artificial intelligence that's starting to dominate technology as well. And we're also washing our hands of the future, saying, well, artificial intelligence, it's not part of my life. I don't need to worry about the consequences. So social media is bringing up big issues about social responsibility. What do we want as a culture to be allowed to be used in that artificial intelligence space? What is authentic? What is not? What is attractive? Is it just that superficial appearance or do we want something else in our intimacy? And these are the questions that we can start talking about with our adult friends and with our youth and put out there for our youth as well to discuss because they're the ones that are gonna have the adult relationships of the future and dealing with more of this artificial intelligence. So I'd love to hear your feedback on this. It's a it's a new area, artificial intelligence, in not just dating apps, but in all apps uh, in our lives. And how do we actually build authenticity and reality of what is intimate? What is what we're looking for in sharing our human hearts and our, and our relationships? And how do we actually know what's authentic and what's not?